Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's only Brickhaul o'clock. With a great big subscriber box, ooh, and three, yes, three packages of assorted sizes from Bricklink.com. Let's get started. Oh, and I've got a set as well. Well, as always, our priority is the subscriber package, so we'll get on with that. Uh, and if you uh, were wondering, yeah, Robin's having to grow back his skin uh, due to an unfortunate incident on the main channel, uh, which if you haven't subscribed to, do check out the links in the description. Uh, and do subscribe to this channel as well. Second haul on this location. So this is a great big, wow, mixed uh, box slash bag <laughs> from, uh, well, Persons Unknown at the moment, which was sent to my P.O. Box address. Uh, and if you want to send something to a future Brick Call, you can uh, by sending it to this address, just like Morris did. And the letter says, Dear Robin, hello again. We hope you're well. We are very excited to hear about your plans for the new Lego room. And even though it's a long-term project, we're really excited to hear ideas on how channel members and fans can contribute either in the planning or build phases in some way. Yes, I really do need to give a sort of thorough update uh, and well <laughs> explain what I'm doing and where, but it is still a little premature at the moment, but uh, soon I think I will be able to do that. Um, we were also interested to see you go for some of the sets in the recent Bricklink Designer program. We still think if you are asked Brick Nottingham to select from a shortlist of potential mock builds in your city, you could get a set on the list and we would all vote for it, especially if it had a custom sticker set or similar. Yeah, I've, I've, um, this this is a perennial problem actually. I do like the idea of getting a uh, an ideas set going or on a Bricklink Designer program set you can do. Um, but the more I spend doing that, the less time I spend doing the city, and it's kind of uh, using all my time at the moment. So I do want to do that in theory, but I kind of prioritise one thing at a time. So I'm doing the city at the moment, and if I do 2.0, Brick Nottingham, then, well, it's going to be uh, even more of a demand on my time. So anyway, uh, maybe, maybe not. It's not my top number one priority, to be fair. Um, also, I like building with really rare and old parts, uh, and, well, you can't do that because you've got to use a set palette of uh, pieces that are basically current and available. So that sort of limits what I generally like to do. Uh, anyway, uh, back to the letter. Uh, anyway, recently Georgie, now six, visited the Lego shop and selected some of the new selection of builder minifigures. She wanted us to send you some of these new figures for the city, so included are six of the new range. Ooh, that is exciting because I haven't been to a Lego store for apps the ages, so I bet there's some really good bits. Uh, whilst we were sending you a package, we've included some old pick-a-brick uh, selections, that must be these, uh, and some other minifigures from our large unopened uh, stores. From our large unopened stores? Oh, stores of <laughs> minifigures, right. We hope they're of some use. Uh, finally, we found on a selection of tiles with some very interesting prints from one of the Lego house sets, as they were a steal on one of the UK Facebook groups. We got a set for you, so please enjoy. Thanks again for all your amazing videos. Morris, uh, who's MD0U80A2, very catchy. Uh, Harry, 13, Toby, 12, Teddy, 8, and Georgie, 6. Well, thanks, gang. Thanks very much for this contribution. And yeah, it's a real mixed bag, and it looks amazing. Um, yeah, I'm interested about that. I never go on Facebook uh, myself. I heard you can get some amazing deals on there, but... Um, yeah, I never do. It's one of those things I just go, don't get around to. I spend too long on Brickling. I'll tell you what, I'll open this. So you say that this interesting prints from one of the Lego house sets. Wow, never seen that before. So that is what looks like a fort with a sort of... Is it? Yeah, it looks like a fort with kind of a windmill on the inside or something. That's very interesting. No idea about that. Never seen that before. We've got a giraffe in sort of a blueprint form. So it must be one of the, yeah, the Lego house set. I know what you mean. The sort of, um, yeah, Lego, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. The special Lego house sets. Dagny Holm, Diplom, so that's a diploma uh, in Danish, presumably. <laughs> Don't know much about that. And then, oh, wow, there's a blocky sort of train, Lego train there. Some coat hangers and some shoes with footprints. 
Very interesting. I agree. They're absolutely crazy. I'll have to look those up in the catalogue and see exactly where they came from. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Right, then we've got ooh, a couple of Lego minifigures from the Series 24. Uh, uh, uh. Very exciting. What do we got? We have, oh, another paper boy. That's one of my favourites. Paper vendor with extra extra. Read all about it. Love him. He's sort of a street urchin, isn't he? So um, <laughs> we can have more than one of those in my town. I'll probably change the head to make the second one a bit different. And the fact that he's got a catapult and a spare catapult is extra awesome. Talking of extra, there's his newspaper. Very nice indeed. Lovely. Can't read that. It's too small. <laughs> That's very nice. Let's see what the second one is. Mm -hmm. Oh, golly, I nearly cut through a bit of cloth there. Maybe I should be a bit more careful with my knife. But with the cloth, it can only be one person, can't it? The Black Falcon's Falconer with that lovely bird. I'm thinking of having one of these hovering over my castle. I was experimenting with um, very fine thread to see if I could get it uh, hanging in the right direction because obviously you don't want it doing that well that'll be a dive I suppose but you can't have it going too wonky so I'm going to build these later just in the interest of time but that is a really good one because I can use it in my castle uh, either the newer castle scene which hopefully will be uh, rolling in uh, Brick Nottingham 2.0 or the existing castle and then we've got the lovely alien who it's got some really interesting parts, actually, and a very interesting gun as well. So he can go in the alien cantina. You can always have two of the same alien. There we go. Look at that. That helmet is awesome, isn't it? So I'll build him in a little bit. Now, this is the bit I'm most excited about. Some builder minifigure wall pieces. Wow. Love this stuff. So we've got a butterfly, which I think is the one. No, no, I think that's one of the ones that comes in the botanical garden. So I do have that. Definitely don't have this. So we've got the sort of feathery torso and the blue style penguin head, hat, costume. <laughs> With a little tail at the back. I don't know what he's supposed to be in blue there. But anyway, very nice. Got a polar bear hat over this guy. Oh, wow. I haven't had his torso either. Very good choosing there, Georgie. If that was you. With the I love puppies torso. Love that. We've got the sort of pinata man with very colourful legs, the piñata sort of torso, and then <laughs> the head that looks like it's going to get bashed uh, about to get at the sweets inside. So he's obviously a llama, but a piñata one. I'm not sure you wouldn't appreciate being hit, but nonetheless. A grey squirrel, a lovely white acoustic guitar, another clown for the fairground. Don't think I've got that head or that torso. So again, that's really good. Oh, and it's double-sided. Oh, I love that side. Winky face. Got a Winky the Clown. Very nice. The carrot costume. I think that looks the same as the previous carrot costume we had in the series minifigure, but it's very nice indeed. Oh, that's quite a good face. I'm not sure I've got that one either, actually. Very good. And, oh, wow, yes, another brick costume, but this time in this, uh, what is it, dark pink? Very nice indeed. I've got about, well, all of the ones so far apart from this one. So that is an excellent choice. And then we've got a skirt piece and another French bulldog, who I believe is in a new colour to me. So that's another one for the dog collection. Wow, you've done really well there. Excellent. <laughs> then we've got the spooky uh, add-on pack, which has got loads of skulls and skeletons and uh, all sorts of stuff in there. Cartwheels, pumpkins, teddy bears for prizes at the fair. Strange they've included teddy bears in a Halloween set. And then, oh, we've got, ah, need to cut those. The pick-a-brick wall contributions. Strange that one was still taped. Did you never actually go into it? So in the first one, we have tree limb pieces, plates, glass. Oh, I could have done with them when I was doing my pool. <laughs> the pools of my botanical gardens. Uh, trans clear bricks in uh, trans light blue. Lots of different things in there for building different projects and tiles and so on. Very nice. Oh, lots of these little uh, fence pieces. That'll be good for lining something or giving the decor to the sort of very top of a building. And in the second one, got more tree limb pieces. Some very big, long slopes. That'd be good in a skateboard park, wouldn't it? For sort of doing a, a rail slide or something like that. 
Ooh, these really nice corner windows. That would be good for like uh, a shop in the old town or something like that. Put two of them together, you get a horseshoe, oh, horseshoe, a semicircle, I suppose. Very nice indeed. I like those. Hopefully there's a few more of those in here. Uh, some big double doors in white. Some, oh yes, there are some more of those. Some slopes in dark turquoise. In red for some nice roofing. Some, ugh, a lot of these. you got a better builder mini, uh, pick a brick wall than the ones I always go to. You never get things like this. Loads of uh, dishes. More of those windows, so I think we're at least at six now. Oh wow, and some absolutely glowing uh, neon orange, uh, neon orange, neon yellow pieces. More dishes, I'll have to work out what to do with all of these. Everyone, send me ideas where I'm gonna use all of these dishes. That is absolutely amazing, wow. And I've got two more tubs now for storage as well. Very, very good indeed. Well, what a wonderful heap. I'm gonna have to get this sorted uh, towards the back uh, and then we can move on to my many BrickLink packages. Uh, but yes, thanks very much again to Morris, Harry, Toby, Teddy and Georgie. What a fabulous contribution. My favorite oh, is probably this lady just because I really like the Brick costumes, but I don't know, they're all pretty good, aren't they? The the uh, clown and the pinata guy and you've saved me a journey so that is really good stuff and yeah the choice pick of the uh, series 24 minifigures so yeah wonderful thanks so much for that well that is an absolutely fabulous start uh, and another thing that happened this week that was amazing was this i got the 60404 burger truck uh, from this year 2024 which is a lovely set i mean it's really two sets in one you get this absolutely great uh little sort of truck <laughs> which kind of looks like one of those ones that people soup up and uh, have bouncing or with huge speakers or something uh, and then this burger uh, shack as well and obviously you can combine the two if you want to so it's absolutely amazing and it's the first set that i've ever had that actually had the paper bags for all of the parts Finally, we finally got one in. Now I'm a bit dubious because it's quite waxy paper, so hopefully this does decompose. Otherwise it's a bit pointless in my opinion, <laughs> but uh, it's probably better than plastic nonetheless. But it's harder to sort of get into. And I was terrified of uh, tearing the sticker sheet, which I couldn't find. Uh, and then I was sort of looking in the box, looking on the floor, thinking, where on earth is this sticker sheet? And it turns out this set doesn't have any stickers. That is actually a print. These are prints. And that burger top there as well is also a print. I was quite surprised to find that out. So uh, yeah, I was spent ages looking for that sticker sheet. Started to get in a bad mood. Uh, and then uh, I realized that it didn't have any in the first place. So there you go. Now I wonder if that is a good thing actually. Is this going to be a more common thing that we don't have stickers and we have uh, these? I know they always do it for uh, junior sets, but um, that's just to help out our younger uh, fans of Lego. But uh, you know, I'm not sure if I like this because it's going to push the price up uh, and it prevents me using all the stickers in different ways, which I really like to do, uh, moving them off one piece and onto another using my patented hot tea technique. So that actually would be quite a, uh, a regression in my opinion. Uh, so I've added number plates. Uh, I've also added a tile on here just to get rid of some of the bobbles. Uh, I like that to make it look a little bit better. We've got fabulous minifigures in here. Uh, we've got one with the uh, burger uh, torso, who looks lovely. Look at that, flaming hot. Brilliant. And then we've got a man with a cochlear implant uh, as well. So that means we've got a man's hairpiece and a lady's hairpiece with one of those now. So that is really good. Uh, and the other change that I wanted to do was to the uh, bun, actually because uh, basically it's got these huge black panels on two sides. So I decided I would raid my parts box and see if I could just fill in the gap. And I think that is a great improvement. So I'm keeping the black door for getting in and out when it's in situ, uh, but I think I will replace that other one with a similar panel uh, to make it look like a burger all the way around. Now I appreciate, I could probably do a better job, I reckon using some palisade bricks or something like that for the burger to make it a bit more wobbly and natural rather than completely smooth. But um, nonetheless, I think that is an improvement from the black. Tell me what you think. So that is really nice. So I can have that anywhere uh, in my city, absolutely anywhere, it's not very big at all. Uh, and I'll probably have this separately driving around the streets, I think, because it is flaming cool. 
Oh, yes. So very nice indeed. Uh, one question for all of you lot. What is this magenta <laughs> kind of layer in here? Cheese, burger, tomato, lettuce. What is that? Is it beetroot? I don't know. That is weird. I don't put that in my burger anyway. So uh, you'll have to tell me that. I need uh, informing. So I'm going to swap that with that. Uh, and I'm going to have that driving around the streets. And I'm very happy indeed with it. It's a very good set. It gets two thumbs up from me. So I would buy that if I were you. Though you will need two number plate stickers. Uh, and the other thing I was going to show you was just from last time. Was this lovely little set here. I just got the final parts for it being these... Uh, uh, drum pieces. I thought I'd just give you a little update because it is just so sweet and it kind of rolls properly and it does all the job of a massive great big one like there's one currently but uh, in a much smaller package and I just think it is ever so sweet so I'd recommend getting uh, that poly bag or just the parts so you can make up your own like I did. It's not very complicated a build at all but very, very effective so yeah I just had to share that. It's been hanging around my desk for a while uh, since I put it together. Right, uh, cool. Let's get on with the first of our Bricklink orders. Uh, and this is just the one that I got to get me the extra pieces for my botanical garden build, which I'm halfway through. And most of these are pretty boring, actually. Uh, I've got some inverted blue slopes for uh, a train wagon I'm putting together, cargo, an old retro one, so you can probably guess from that. Uh, some uh, bits for my uh, deep sea cabinet sea floor because sometimes you need them smooth so you can fit parts uh, very closely a lot of gray bricks with studs on the side just because they were very cheap at this place i just bought all they had for uh, future uh, under the sea builds and this is the one with the interesting stuff in it i've got lots of these orange uh, punk hairdos uh, they were part of that botanical garden set as one of the flowers actually so i imagine this person bought one two three, four, five of that set to part out for their store. And now I've got all the extra hair pieces. I'll probably use them under the sea, uh, quite frankly. Uh, then we've got a hair piece that I'd never seen before, which came with the um, 76399 Hogwarts Magical Trunk from 2022, uh, which is kind of a bit of a dress up box, I think, because it's not on any of the minifigures there. So I think it's just um, uh, alternate, so you can swap them out. Uh, a candelabra, sort of candlestick type thing, which I'm probably going to make into a trident for under the sea. Uh, and then this, the uh, only part that I really needed from the advent calendar 2023, which uh, is the Mrs. Claus torso. So I didn't get that advent calendar this year. I got a tasty chocolate one instead. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's a nice piece. So I can add that to any future Christmas scene I do as well. So yeah, that's a really nice small one. I just thought I'd burn through because um, essentially... I had it hanging over from that build video. The next one was called in my little notes Sentinel and that's because I've been trying to buy the parts for da, 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 a second X-Men Sentinel uh, and that's so I can make use of the lovely sort of destroyed Sentinel head uh, that comes with the recent Wolverine um, series minifigure. Uh, so I've been trying to buy, well, piece it out basically in reverse. So if I can get in here, whoop, then, yep, that's everything. We will see lots of purpley parts and other bits. So those bits are all for the Sentinel. Lovely. I've already got quite a few from my own collection here uh, in a bag waiting. A few more in there. Lovely. I've got another head for a foot soldier. Uh, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Just get those whenever I see them because sometimes you get a torso, sometimes you get a head and the legs are just black so I can make uh, lots more. Uh, a nice cockpit piece for an upcoming build. Uh, yeah, I think they're all for the uh, Sentinel as well. Actually, all the sort of joints for the arms and legs. And these little grabber bits in black for the fingers. It's amazing what parts I didn't have actually. And there's the all-important one in here, the printed chest piece. Amazing how rare these things are. So that's what I really needed. The other rare piece, of course, is the head. Uh, but I didn't need a second head because I've got the busted one. And I thought rather than have a sort of severed head, or if I did have a severed head, it would be a, a, a severed body as well <laughs> um, next to it. But that, that could just be damaged uh, next to uh, the scene. So we've got two sentinels with slightly different colouring. I like it a lot. So that is going to look really good. 
Um, oh, look, I've got a breathing apparatus thing. Now, that's for my um, swamp creatures in my deep sea cabinet so they can breathe in real air and be invading the base yet further when I extend it. Uh, we've got some pieces for the passenger plane that I'm putting together. 3181. So there's a few of those. Some more purple ones for that. And then these three are interesting. So we've got a nice yellow sign here. With kind of falling rocks on it. Uh, now that came with the 7243 construction site from 2005, uh, where the falling rocks would be coming from that great big conveyor, of course. Uh, but I think I'm going to use mine under the sea uh, to represent uh, the possible rock falls uh, from just undersea cliffs, basically, because those uh, stanchion pieces look very much like what I'm going to have as my um, deep base nine going down, down, down into the depths. So that's going to be really good. And then we've got a couple of heads. This one is glow in the dark, would you believe? Uh, and is Professor Severus Snape from 4752, Professor Lupin's classroom from 2004. And uh, Snape, yeah, now of course he was, uh, he was ruler of the First Order, wasn't he? Supreme leader uh, during the New Republic era. Yes, that's right, unmistakable. Uh, so I'll be able to use that glow in the dark head somewhere. I've got no plans, I just saw it and thought, yeah. Go on, I'll have one of those, because I picked the store just because of that breastplate, uh, quite frankly. Uh, and then another interesting head that was there was this green one. Again, I've got no idea where I can use that. It could be an alien in my alien cantina. Just, uh, yeah, a green-skinned normal guy. Uh, that was in two sets, including 7595, Army Men on Patrol from 2010, which was a Toy Story set. Uh, and check out that Jeep. <laughs> I want to make that now. Uh, maybe... Maybe in dark green in, or or olive or something like that instead. I don't know. The green's a bit bright, isn't it? But um, And I'm not entirely sure that the back sort of wheel arches look quite right in my eye. Uh, but anyway, that is a nice uh, head as well. So we've got three interesting heads there for different, completely different scenes and areas and so on. So that's very nice. A uh, couple more little bags. I'm not sure how much is important. Well, we've got the arm sort of extendy bits for our uh, Sentinel. A couple of these grabby arms in translite blue. I thought it'd be good either in the cabinet or to perfect that aquarium uh, train wagon. Eh, still sort of playing around with that idea. A couple of arms for under the sea as well in dark red. And then another wing. Believe it or not, I had one, but not the other, for that uh, aircraft. There's the other one of those for the tail or the top of the wing, can't remember. And then here we've got a 8x8 light grey grill piece. I was thinking on my deep space, uh, deep base 9 for underneath the sea, I was thinking maybe that that uh, yellow and black striped area was a bit much. I thought I'd play around with this as well. So I've got one of these, because I already had one, I'll need two to see if that alternate build works better, uh, if not. It'll be a really good fence somewhere in my city, no doubt. So that is really good. Quite a small order, uh, but uh, very important for that second Sentinel for my eventual X-Man scene. I'll be doing a very short X-Man video, actually, soon. I uh, just uh, basically need to decide when I haven't got time to do a big normal video and do that as a small one. Because it's uh, only very subtle, but it's quite a fun build, I must say. So anyway, on to the last uh, Bricklink order. This is a much bigger box, but I don't think it's actually that huge uh, a set of pieces either. So anyway, I'll just get rid of all the packaging, throw it over my head with abandon. <laughs> and, uh, well, the first thing that leaps straight out is another glow-in-the-dark piece. Yes, it's the glow-in-the-dark horse that I've been buying far too many of. Well, he looks like he might have been trodden on and bent a little bit able to bend that back with hot water I'm sure um, and this one came in the 9462 the mummy set from 2012 where it's monster fighters of course and um, yeah I've just been getting a load of these so I can have a mounted uh, evil army invading my castle in Brick Nottingham which doesn't make much sense but at least it's good fun and when you turn out the lights of the Lego room the whole army seems to glow <laughs> really brightly uh, because of these horses so it's uh, very very good there yeah, slightly damaged on the front, not to worry. Uh, we've got a roof piece for a car. I think I stole one from somewhere when I was doing that car that was getting pushed along by the train, so I needed a replacement, so that's that. Got a few minifigure parts. Oh, golly, loads. Everything's in small bags again. That's really annoying. <laughs> These two go together. 
There we go. So these are the body parts of the uh, Series 7 Viking woman. And basically, I thought they just looked quite generic and old for some sort of peasant in my castle scene. Very nice indeed. Then, oh, things to fill in gaps in my city include another baby wrapped up very tightly that came with the Series 15 Tribal Woman. And that's just so my stork that is dropping babies by parachute can be dropping another one somewhere else. So, uh, yeah, that's just so I can have a second parachuted baby because that's where all babies come from, of course. Couple more heads. One in white, one in old dark grey, but both of the same sort of masked uh, look. Now, I didn't know if this one was going to be a ninja, sort of Storm Shadow, if you remember that character, uh, or racers, or maybe a knight, and that grey one could be um, sort of uh, armour underneath there. Uh, but the white one came in 8357, Zonic Strike from 2003, which was a racer set. And also from a 2003 racer set is the grey head. Uh, from 8350 Pro Stunt. Yeah, so there we go. So I quite like the idea of a ninja for the white one. His eyes look very sort of... Hmm. So I think he'll be uh, stalking around on a rooftop somewhere. I'm sure I can get some white uh, ninja sort of clothing from uh, Ninjago easy enough. And yeah, maybe he's a knight and that is chainmail. I quite like that idea. So we've got some more heads there. Then I saw a bit of a bargain. When you have a minifigure that's missing one part, so they basically turn it into three different listings for each of the bits, and you see them, and pull them all back together again. But they were very cheap combined, so uh, the thing that's missing is the head, as in the minifigure sort of head bit, where we've got the legs, we've got the torso, and then we've got the, well, hat, I suppose you would call it, that would go on the top like that. So I do need um, the minifigure head, uh, which is usually a trans red one with teeth on it and so on, uh, and I think I've actually got a spare one of that that I got in a different haul by coincidence. So basically that will be another quite, usually quite expensive, well not very expensive, but a bit more expensive than I paid, uh, Atlantis figure that came in two sets, including 7984, uh, Deep Sea Raider from 2011. Uh, and if I can't find that head, then I'll just use a trans red one or even a black one or something. It doesn't really matter, does it? That is the main part of him. He's looking very good. Some trans pieces, some of those windows are for the plane, I believe. We've got an old style uh, sort of peasant uh, hat. Uh, there you go, in dark brown, that looks like. Very nice. We've got ooh, a character here called Izor, presumably because he's got a sore eye. It looks a bit gammy, doesn't it? Poor fella. No wonder he's angry. Uh, he came in four sets, including 71736, the Boulder Blaster from 2021. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I just started laughing when I first saw that picture. It's just amazing, isn't it? Wow! I absolutely love the uh, addition of a kind of handle on the bottom of that uh, craft, just so it's got absolutely the best swish ability for flying around your living room. I think that's absolutely great. But he's quite a good character to have in my future Ninjago City with the sort of, uh, well, snake emblem on the back. Very nice indeed. Talking to Ninjago, there is a Sons of Garmadon sort of biker jacket torso with a skull on the front and the Sons of Garmadon logo on the back. So that is really nice as well. Um, and then we've got all sorts of castle stuff. We've got what well, I probably don't need now, but I did this order just before I got the uh, Batlord. Uh, this is from Basil the Batlord, uh, old school, with the uh, visor and uh, bat wings. But obviously we've got, still on my desk because I love him, the new Basil the Batlord. Uh, and he's got, well, an updated version of that helmet. So maybe this will be a standard topper, or maybe it'll just be a spare in his equipment bag for uh, when he's doing his jousting. So that's good. Another one I've got is this snake one with these two uh, trans-red snakes as part of the helmet. I really like that. Uh, so that's in six sets, including 70624, Vermilion Invader, which is another cool vehicle from 2017. Uh, and I don't know who I'm giving this to. It's a bit Conan the Barbarian again, isn't it? Or uh, Red Sonja. 
like that character. So I might try it. Well, no, because her hair's amazing, isn't it? So I might try one of her minions or something like that. I don't know. Though the snake people are actually the baddies that she was fighting against, actually, in that movie. So maybe not. Uh, a couple of shields. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't get in these small bags. And a plume. Oh, yes. Golly. That bag will not come apart. There we go. So we've got the purple shield with the uh, wolf on it. We've got the dark red shield with the scorpion on it for Vladek. And over here in another bag, we've got the purple visor for the Raskus Knight. And um, basically all of those uh, came in the 8877 Vladek's Dark Fortress set from 2005. So yeah, very nice indeed. Additions for the eventual big castle scene. A red plume which I like very much to go on the top of somebody's helmet or something like that. don't know. It could be a hairdo <laughs> if you're uh, <laughs> a bit experimental. So I like that as well. Lots of good bits in this order. And then three more pieces, two of which which are very interesting and one less so. Here is the shiny metallic looking absolutely perfect helmet that came in the second series of Power Miner sets, including 8190, the Claw Catcher from 2010. Uh, no visor on the front, but I didn't want the visor because I'm using this as Professor Xavier's uh, kind of mind-bending uh, helmet, you know, when he sort of sees into the uh, uh, future. Well, he's already seen the... Well, he does a bit, doesn't he? He sees into the future and he sees around the world. Uh, so I thought that would be his mind-enhancing helmet uh, for use, well, in a scene. So there we go. That is that. Uh, then we've got one roof piece for the aircraft that I'm uh, piecing together. And then last but not least, I've got another one of these Aries Deli uh, panels, which I've got a few of in a facade against my Lego room wall. But if we're going to do Brick Nottingham 2.0, I figured I might bring that into the city and make a much bigger building out of it because it's very, very pretty indeed. Uh, so this panel piece came in the junior set, uh, 4860 Cafe Attack. Uh, from 2004, which is a uh, Doc Ock and Spider-Man set. Uh, but it's just really, really nice with the curtains in the side, these sort of bay fronted bits. They're quite hard to use because they're these great big panels. But um, yeah, I've pretty much got it down after using them on Fast Food Corner as well. So that is a really nice piece. So I'll throw that on the top there. And we have got to the end of our, wow, <laughs> loads of stuff. So we had a wonderful subscriber package from Morris, Harry, Toby, Teddy and Georgie. Absolutely amazing assortment from them with all these wonderful minifigures and loads of parts for loads of future builds and even a lovely VIP bag. We've had the burger truck. Uh, 6404, which I recommend heartily. Both of these bits are really good in their own right and great together as well. I think that's a really good value set. I can recommend that heartily. And then loads of parts for a second Sentinel, uh, loads of uh, bits of plane, and as always, lots of other pieces to fill in minifigure scenes and do some really interesting stuff with all of my builds. Oh, and this lovely roller. What a fantastic set of uh, packages and a wonderful haul. <laughs> Well, what a wonderful set of bricks. I think you'll agree. I absolutely adore all these minifigures. I can't wait to use all of them. Uh, and these castle pieces are always really special as well. Uh, so as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome brick hauls. Do also subscribe to the main Robin Hood Bricks channel to see all of these bricks being put into future builds. And if you value this channel, or that one for that matter, then do uh, support me by clicking on some of the links below. Uh, do also send in your future packages to uh, the usual PO Box address if you want them included uh, on a future Brick Hall. Uh, and uh, next week we'll be doing another Brick Hall, as usual. Uh, and the main channel will be probably going on to uh, do the second part of the Botanical Gardens build next time. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be Friday or Monday, or maybe even Saturday in the middle to make a compromise. <laughs> I'm very busy at the moment. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope Robin's skin grows back before next time. Uh, but until then, see you! Poor Robin. He's been very badly nibbled. <laughs>